guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome. If you're returning, then I'm happy to have you back. Today I'm going to be doing this really cool, quick DIY ombre flannel shirt. It's going to be done with just some simple supplies, so stay tuned to see the finished look and how I styled it. I love, love, love the winter time, but I do like to kind of kick it with a cool style and just throw out some biker shorts and just dress them up. right into it. I purchased this shirt during Black Friday at JCPenney's for $10. It was in the men's section and I wanted a shirt that I could wear with a lot of different things. I did purchase the size large because I do like the oversized look and one of the most important things is making sure that you understand your material when you're bleaching. So I purchased this shirt. I love that it has a really dark tone to it. It's going to be a flannel shirt so it is going to be 100% cotton. Um, this brand is really great for altering when you're distressing um, the St. John's Bay. And of course, 100% cotton is what I'm going to need to make sure that this bleach processes and it looks really good and soft after I'm done. Pause here to collect all the supplies that you're going to need for this project. I like to use a spray bottle that has two different spray options. I also like to use a large rubber band for the body of the shirt and small rubber bands for the sleeves. It helps me control the amount of bleach that I'm spraying and have a stopping point so I'm not going on the entire shirt. I'm also going to be using very concentrated bleach that I'm gonna mix with some water and make sure that I'm in a safe place and I'm using gloves at all times. To first get started, you do want to close off the area that you will be spraying bleach on. That way you can kind of reserve the rest of the shirt to be as is. And here you're just going to see me put my rubber band on the body of the shirt, making sure that I keep it nice and tight so that way it doesn't um, move out of this area. And then I'm also going to be doing the same thing to the sleeves. my spray bottle making sure that it has no leftover product and I'm not mixing any of the glass cleaner that was previously in the bottle with my bleach. I am gonna wet the shirt first so that way I can get my bleach process started super super fast. This is an example of how the sprayer can spray in a mist and then if you turn it it's gonna spray with a more direct spray. You first want to put your shirt as close to your sink as possible or the area that you're going to be working in and you're going to spray all the areas that are below your rubber band getting it nice and soaked so that way when the bleach hits the material it starts to um, lighten and it starts to um, turn colors right away <music> If you're interested in getting started in doing bleach dye or ombres or even tie dyes, you definitely want to focus on making sure that your clothes that you're using is more of 100% cotton. The more that you do have of that material, it's going to give you guaranteed light results and it's going to lift pretty natural and it's not going to look like it's manufactured. While doing this process, before you do get your bleach going, it is cool to wear a mask because the bleach can be a little strong. And also make sure that you're not wearing any clothes that you do adore and you don't want to get messed up. Once you start to spray the bleach, it can be unpredictable on where it can go. So to keep your clothes safe, wear something that you are okay with getting messy. For mixing my bleach, I did one part water, one part bleach. Since it is concentrated, 
it did give me a little bit of a jelly consistency so if you feel like it's too thick go ahead and mix a little bit more water if you're using regular bleach that's not concentrated you should be able to put it right in the bottle and start spraying I did not speed up the video at all and I wanted to make sure that my editing for this video showed you are definitely seeing this fabric change instantly almost in front of your eyes as you can see it's starting to go to a reddish tone because the color of the shirt is pretty dark but I'm just gonna keep saturating making sure that I'm not leaving any spots that are still of the original shade of the shirt um, that way I can have a very nice white transition also, before you do start to touch the rest of the shirt, just make sure that you wipe your hands or rinse your hands so that way you're not getting bleach on the rest of the parts of the shirt. I accidentally touched the shirt with some bleach still on my hands, so I did take a little bit of water to stop it from turning, but I'll just work with it later on as we get to um, the rest of the bleaching. Once you've saturated where you know that you want the lightest part to be, go ahead and remove your rubber bands and now it's time to get creative. I like to take a look at what I'm doing so that way I can see how I can blend it out so that way it looks really nice. I'm taking the sprayer and just misting and then I just use my hand to wipe up so that way it has a nice transition. And I continue to do this throughout the back, the front, and the sides of the shirt. And if I do see that places aren't moving, that's where I take my sprayer and concentrate it a little bit more so that way no part is left untouched. Literally, you guys, as the moments tick by, you can see the shirt is continuing to lift and continuing to turn because the part that I am touching with the bleach above where the rubber band was is dry. It is taking a more instant approach, but I like that it's not going to process as quickly as the bottom did. So just as I treated the sleeves, I'm going to treat the rest of the body of the shirt the very same way. And in this area, you can get very, very creative. Definitely take your time. Make sure that you like the results before you move on to your next step. I have completed the spraying technique on the shirt. So now I'm just taking excess bleach that's left over in the shirt and I'm just draining it. Um, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of a scrunch method. I do like that it creates a little bit more of a distressed and older look on the shirt. And once I get the shirt outside, I'm going to let it dry. Um, but I do like that it kind of creates almost like different crinkle effects with the bleach. And you'll see this a little bit later um, once the shirt is almost done. shirt to a resting area so here I do have my shirt outside I do live in Maryland so the temperature is pretty um, cold so if you are gonna let your shirt process if it is in the Sun it will process very quickly you'll get it nice and bright and white but keep in mind it will possibly create holes in your shirt as well so just make sure that if you are gonna let it process that it is in a area that you can watch it and you're keeping an eye on it for sure So this is the shirt after an hour of the bleach sitting outside. As you can see, there are some bright spots that are still red. So all I do is just take a little bit more of the bleach and just apply it to the areas that look a little splotchy. So that way I can get a nice even ombre going down the shirt. And this is the back of the shirt. I love the way the back of the shirt turned out. I like that the bleach at the shoulders 
um, are really nice and it's giving like a little detail. This is also the shirt at two hours. As you can see, it just keeps getting brighter and brighter. I'm loving the way that it's looking, but I'm gonna let it keep going because I wanna see how far I can take it. And then our three hour time frame, which the shirt is exactly where I want it to be. I love that there's almost no pigment left in the shirt and it's ready to go to our next step. At this point, our shirt has completely dried with the bleach on it. So instead of washing and drying, I'm gonna actually go ahead and hop into distressing. So you're gonna need tweezers, a grater, scissors, and some creativity to make this shirt really get into the next level of style. First things first, you wanna take a look at your shirt and map out where you wanna see your distressing. I really want to keep the focus of distressing towards the bottom of the shirt. Um, I do kind of want to keep the top of the shirt a little bit cleaner unless it's going to be around the bleach spots that I have on the back. So first I take my grater and I put it underneath the material and I just take my scissors and I kind of just rough it up. That way I'm loosening up the fabric and then when I go in to actually just manipulate it with the grater out front, it is a little bit easier to pull the fabric out. This also creates a little bit of a holy effect. Because the material is 100% cotton, it is very easy to distress. Just try not to go too rough with the grater because you can rip a hole into the shirt due to it being sensitive and a little bit more um, prone to ripping because of the bleach still being on it. Once I get the idea of how I want the shirt to look, I just go in with my grater and I just really try to do different techniques throughout. Uh, making sure that I'm not staying in one place for too long. And once I do a little bit of the rubbing, I move on to another area so I can get the full look together. Um, be very careful not to cut yourself. These graders are very sharp and if you're not paying attention, you can very much catch your finger and you definitely don't wanna do that. Um, but in this process, have fun with it. Don't overthink it and just look at you know how the shirt's coming along and just Decide whether you want to add more or stay where you're at or if there's different details that you're needing. As I move into the sleeves, I literally just take the grater at the end of the sleeve just to rough up the cuff a little bit. I really like the way that the cuff turned out. It's nice and distressed, but it's not overdone um, because if I do want to roll up the sleeve, it's not going to be um, shred it too much, but it does give a nice effect when my sleeves are just down. to the back I just continue the same process but I went a little bit more crazier um, if you look at the bottom of the shirt I do distress the hem of the shirt as well I go through the sides and I just really get crazy with this grater I like that the shirt has a soft feel to it so it lays on the body very nicely and this is just how I distress the shoulders as well in the front pocket Now that we are all done distressing, I'm gonna pop my shirt in the washer machine and dryer. I do like to put my shirt with towels so that way it's not just um, rummaging around and I like that it can also get clean with other things as well. And I'm just gonna do a quick spin and then also quick spin in the dryer. All right guys, and this is our finished look. I love, love, love the way it turned out. The shirt is not stiff whatsoever. I paired this flannel with a white H&M shirt with my biker shirts that I love to get from JCPenney's and my all white forces. I love that you guys tuned into this video and I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.